Welcome back. The police minister, Peggy Tele, has led a crime prevention in Bizo in Umlazi in Guazulu Natal today. This follows the killing of 83 people in the Guazulu Natal township between April and June. Our reporter, Letiwe Mzuli, is there and joins us now for an update. And Letiwe, what came out of this in Bizo? I mean, given the uh, prevalence of crime in the area of Umlazi, especially the statistics we are citing in as far as violent crime is concerned. Very scary figures there, um, Tula Sizwe. Today, during the Imbizo, the residents shared their frustrations with the police minister and also the provincial commissioner of the police. Um, they are raising some very important issues when it comes to fight cri or fighting crime um, in the area. There were a lot of members from um, the policing forum here in the community who are raising issues that they are not supported enough by the police. Um, they are also um, raising issues of not in having enough vehicles, um, police vehicles calls rather um, in saying that Umlazi Township has over one people and there's only two police in this township not enough time in this area as you corrected out um, 83 people between April and June and the people on Umlazi are saying that these numbers don't even reflect on a daily basis they are saying that every day they are becoming a victim of crime because they know that criminals are just walking around each and every day, even during the day. Um, speaking to some of the community members, they also shared that they are not happy with police um, that are corrupt and also police that are lazy. They are pointing out that some police, they see vehicles um, stationed at malls during the day, which is very alarming because of the number of people that are killed here in this township. The police minister has also shared a high number of um, GBV cases that have been reported in the township. Um, he is saying that it's very alarming and every other crime in this township um, is increasing. While speaking to the police minister or basically engaging during the imbizo, some of the residents shared their frustrations and these were their words. Hey, La Pema Mols, Guben and Running Man, Ayama Pois, Labas, Konuta Bantuba, the reporter of Kebeng, Noma Ukebeng, Benzera, is in Linza, or Cotta Pat, to Mutusaga Setusen, and Samo, a kitchen, my conat now was the wood, sex over Lulu, one of Chetindan and Epic Temp, or we born a Bandaba Caesar or cool. Gulento Yokshota Wama Ven, a tour as I will come to a garage. Gulen Gali from the engineering, a silly Makai. Bestella, Jengis Pois, and Niben, Nugay, imagine such a design and then the Lin Nicaraja, away in a Macaraj, a Guama, Guama Tolopa, on the Bontin in Nisanganisaranja. The Kacha Lusangan is the Lungisi Motors, Lungsele Estate, Zinga, Bessia, a Karaja lot, a Wonka, a police station, a Karaja lot, so when the stockpile say Motors, Nabu is his station. Indaba, Nile Karaja lot, and Yaglon, Uma, such what happens at the Zinganilis, the best and the person and the man. A Karacha lot, a tamper foot in a matu bomb sebins, Ulava Nasebe fundil, to the secretary on an alisus cat. In terms of Kulumagakulu, Emailana, Nopkebengu, O Abantabas, Gula ing, and a nani, Abakipa, Ama Pempas, ing, and a no two years, Mutu Akipu two two years, the Pempas. I dig, I dig, I dig, and a nani, Mess and Varalo, Figama Pois, Ezo, Ezom Landa, Lomutunga, Sasu Sepumil, Menugutis and Janis in a Sum Pagas. Yeah, the frustrations of those community members are palpable, and rightly so, uh, Letiwe, given the realities that they have to live with, uh, that they were sharing there with the minister. What was his response then to, to these frustrations that were raised by the community members? Well, the police minister has not shared anything new besides the fact that um, in December he is promising that 10,000 new police officers will be unveiled. Um, this is his way or the police's response to the shortage um, of uh, police in the country. He is saying that um, 10,000 police will be graduating and they will be unveiling them in December. He's also mentioned that um, it's very difficult for them to fight crime um, in places like Umlazi, Inanda and also Claremont, which are 
leading places here in KZN when it comes to it's, when it comes to crime, because a lot of communities are shielding these criminals. He has also asked for the community to work with police um, in order to fight this crime, um, urging mothers not to hide their children when they know that they are criminals. He's also shared that um, the alarming numbers that they are seeing from these townships, they are hoping that they will bring them down. But the crime prevention um, in Bizo that they are currently leading in this province will continue until they actually try or figure out how they are going to, to, to fight this crime. Um, the police minister has also said that um, they are very, very uh, struggling when it comes to resources. They, they don't have enough money to hire um, police. They don't have enough money to buy new vehicles that a lot of residents are asking the police uh, for. And he's saying that there will be, as government, getting together and discussing these things. But those are some of the issues that they, that they face on a daily basis. While speaking to him um, a bit earlier on, this is what he had to share. Well, today we had to come to Mlazi. We, as you know, we're at Inanda yesterday. We have reasons. Uh, these two stations, nationally, they lead on two terrible crimes. That is a murder and, uh, and rape. I, I twisted my, my crime, crime stats here. Umlazi still leads in murder. They have gone down a little bit on, on rape, uh, even the last quarter, all the time. If it's not Umlazi leading, then comes, uh, then comes Inanda or Lusigisig. That's why we are concentrating. But more than that, a few weeks ago, together uh, with the Kromuga, the MEC, we were here, the stakeholders, so we agreed that we will meet, so to listen to them. Yeah, Letiwe, lastly, obviously I wasn't there as the speech was being delivered by the minister, but I do imagine that he once again highlighted that while we're getting these 10,000 new police officers, that's a national figure that talks to, you know, that is targeted at a population that has since grown, but actually only serves to restore SAPS capacity to its, what, 2010 or 2012 uh, levels. It, other than lamenting that fact that despite the 10,000, we will remain woefully under-policed in terms of population to police officer ratio, what else did he say in terms of uh, uh, addressing that particular issue of under-policing? Well, to, us, to be honest, there was nothing new. He did make a mention that um, today South Africa has less police than they had in 2010. He says that during his time as police commissioner, they had over 170,000 police servicing the country. But um, today in 2022, they have, less th they have less of those numbers. And unfortunately, the population has grown. Um, there's nothing new that he has shared. He's saying that um, every time there is a post where they need police um, in in the country, um, they do get a lot of people who are applying. And more recently, they had over 750,000 people applying for positions, only 5,000 positions. Um, so he is saying that it's an ongoing issue, but the issue is attributed to having no funds um, to actually hire more police. So there's nothing new that he has shared except for just relaying those figures that he usually does, um, saying that it's an ongoing issue that they're trying to address. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Thank you for that. That's ENCA's letter out in Umlazi, and as she says, I mean, they're lamenting uh, that the figures of police officers have not grown. In fact, we've only restored capacity of some 10 years ago. We've heard that, uh, you know, so many times ad nauseum, really. Uh, what is the solution? Because you are the government. You're not civil society to always be lamenting. In fact, I've heard President Ramaphosa also now adding his voice to the chorus lamenting this. Great. It's great that you know what the problem is, fix it.